Today we are exploring these barns which are full of classic cars and some other very interesting things. Now this is quite a rare car. Little Reliant. Look at this old Cortina estate. Volkswagen Beetle. I cannot wait to see what is inside this barn. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Now today I've been invited to have a look at a collection of cars which have been locked up in a barn for quite a long time. I don't know exactly what's in there but I'm told that there's some special cars so let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay so I'm just walking down to the, the area where the cars are and um, I'm pretty sure the barn is over in that direction but I've, I've just seen these so I need to look at these first. We've got some pretty cool cars here. There's an MG over there, a couple of Mercedes. Look at this old Reliant. I think that's 82, 83, is it? God, look at that, 62,000 miles. Shame the window's broken because the seat is completely, well, disgusting, actually. But my God, I suppose the one good thing about this car, it's never going to rot. <laughs> Although saying that, it has got a bit of a fiberglass damage, probably where it went over at some point. God, I wonder how long that's been there for. That is pretty cool though. The Mercedes is nice. Typical rust on the wheel arches. Again, it looks like that's been there for a long time. It's starting to get quite rare actually, these ones. Is it open? Yes it is. Look at that, the interior is still really good condition. Not going to be able to see the mileage because it's digital on there. But, I mean, look how clean that is. It doesn't actually smell too bad either. Quite surprising. Got some uh, interesting things growing out of the gutters there. Ugh. That's a 240. I don't know if it's a supercharged one or not, it might be. This is cool. This is really cool. God, what a shame. Oh, I don't like those. They are not nice. But she's open as well. God, look at that. 90,000 miles. It looks as if it was being used possibly as a parts car. God, it's quite wrecked actually. Now, I don't know whether the bonnet's open on this or not. It does look as if it is. I'm curious as to what engine it's got in it. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, look at that, it's a straight six. Wow. It looks as if it was having a bit of work done. God, it's the sort of job that you really don't want to get involved with. <laughs> yeah, I can understand why that's been left here. Very expensive when they go wrong. So, next car is the MG. Quite a nice colour, I like these. I wonder if this is open. Yes, it is. Hmm, doesn't look too bad actually. 
bit of mould here in there. But generally, it's in good nick. God, look at the mould on those back seats. <laughs> Blimey. I wonder if the oh, bonnet will open on this. Keys to the ignition as well, I just noticed that. <laughs> Now this is the ZS, so I don't know whether this had the V6 or not. I don't think it did. I think it was a, an 1800. Oh, I could be wrong. Ouch, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. K-Series. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not much to say about those. I don't actually like those engines. Um, obviously prone for head gaskets going. Oh, look at the grass growing there, look. <laughs> actually looks quite healthy. So, what have we got here? Oh, hey mate. Hi, mate. You're the I certainly am. Just having a little look at these cars. Nice, aren't they, mate? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a barn apparently with some yes, cool yes, cars. The, the owner's given me the keys if you want me to. Oh, amazing! Play. Brilliant, yeah. Cool cars around here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to look at the little metro. How long has that been there for? Do you reckon? Oh, about twenty-one years, we've got that. Bloody hell! That's incredible. <laughs> this is nice. I had a cool Tina. I really like that. Yeah. Quite a rare car now, actually. This one's quite rare as well. The nineteen eighty-two uh, Mitsubishi Colt Starium Turbo. Wow, there. God! Yeah, that's been sat there since about two thousand eight. Oh my god. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen one on the road. Is it open? No, it's locked. A five speed manual. God, yeah, it's definitely seen better days. There's quite a lot of rot on this. Got a very, very cool looking car, that. Really like that. Now, I didn't mention the Beetle. The Beetle's quite a cool car. I don't like the colour, if I'm honest. Do you like the colour on that? Horrible. Yeah, it's not good, is it? <laughs> uh, it belongs in a field, this one. Yeah, sadly. Oh, it is open. God, look at those cobwebs. That door hasn't been opened in years. Look at that. It looks like the mice have been nesting in the old glove box there. Oh my God, 43,000 miles. Okay, that's a shame. <laughs> but to be honest, the interior underneath those seat covers looks really good. There's probably quite a few parts on this that could be saved. Wow. Okay, wow, I'm super excited to know what's in this barn. Do you know what's in the barn? No. Nope. No? Oh. No, it's a mystery. Oh, it is a mystery. 96 Jag, XJ6. Is that open? I don't think it is now, the door pin's down. But again, that looks really clean inside. Do you know what? These are growing on me, these cars. I like these. That's a slightly newer one. The, obviously, the older ones are more desirable, but that is cool. That is really cool. There's been a lot of exploring gear in the back of that. Are you trying to sell it to me? Yeah. <laughs> right, should we go and check out this barn? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Okay, so here are the barns. Now, Will was just telling me we've got some guys coming this afternoon to clear out some brass. Yeah, so these barns have been emptied this afternoon. Um, a local scrapyard's coming down to take um, all the brass out of them. Yep. Uh, but there's quite a lot of other stuff, like cool cars in there, that they won't really know about. Okay. So, you know, hopefully you can... Yeah, 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 let's take a look. Oh, this is very exciting. <laughs> I've got absolutely no idea what's in here. Oh! We've got some bucket seats. Oh my God. Oh wow, this is really cool actually, Jesus. That's a standard 10, oh my God. Look at the dust on that car. We've got a Rover, oh my God, this is really cool. Now, I can't help but notice all this brass that's in here. So this is all the stuff that's being cleared out, you say? Yeah, so it's been collected for about 30 years and it's just... Wow. So many different things in here. Oh my god, look, there's actually stuff on the floor as well. Just be careful when I'm treading. Oh wow, that is cool. My god, 30 years you say they've been collecting this? Yeah. Yeah, so the boys are going to come down and uh, take it all away and weigh it. That's wow. Crap, god. God. 
I mean, it's really cool stuff, really cool stuff. I think the owner's just a bit of a hoarder, isn't it? Yeah. Are those Warner Brother plaques there? Yeah, they are. Jesus, I bet they're quite valuable. Oh my God. We've even got a, a crossing man's sign there. I did actually see another Ah, oh, it's a no waiting sign. I thought there was another one. Wow, do you know what? There is just all sorts in here. Literally all sorts. God, look at this. Wow, this is amazing. I cannot believe the stuff that's in here. Look, there's a mini door there. It looks like an early one as well, the sliding window. Give me a sign. <laughs> we was just opening up the other doors over there. Oh, this is so cool. That looks interesting. That looks like a, a Ford Escort bonnet with a massive portrait of Bob Marley on it. <laughs> Incredible. Let's take a look inside this standard 10. <sighs> wow. So what's happening with the cars? Are they going to or are they staying? Well, it depends what you think we should do with them, really. I mean, there's definitely a lot of people out there who'd be interested in, in some of these. I mean, that Morris Minor looks really clean. Looks really cool. This Rover, though, when was that last tax? 2013. God, you don't see these anymore. These, these sort of disappeared. It's open, lovely. Look at that. God, it's actually really clean inside, too. 51,000 miles on the clock. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I just can't get over the dust. How long have they been in here for, you say? About 15, 20 years, the car. Wow. It's forgotten about. Yeah, the tax disc on that Morris is 2010. Oh my God. And not just the car, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Yeah. Bicycles. Wheels. It's tricky to know what to do with it all, really. Yeah. The scrap, the scrap boys will just look at that and say, you know, 150 pound a ton. But... Yeah, it's almost criminal. You know, I mean, say there are collectors out there who would pay probably good money for some of these cars. So um, maybe if anyone's right. interested. <laughs> looks heavy because it's put a big dent in the roof. Got but to be vinyl. honest, that would probably just pop back out again. Vinyls in here. Wow, really? Look at that. Still in the plastic cover, aren't they? Oh, no, no, it's just really shiny. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, this is a proper barn find, guys. This is really cool. Uh, I want to try and have a look at that Morris. Is that the only way to get to it through where you are? Uh because it looks like it's quite packed over that side, so I'll have to try and step over. There's a couple more mini doors just there. Oh. God, this Morris is actually really clean. Although it's dusty and covered in leaves, I cannot see any rot on that car at all. Looks like the door's open. Look at that, 78,000 miles on the clock. Wow, actually smells really nice in here. Very strong smell of leather. Looks as if the seat could do with a, a refurbishment of some sort, but nevertheless, a very rare car. There's that portrait of Bob Marley again there. That's really cool, that is, I like that. Someone's put a lot of time into that. Okay, so, the other car is a, a Jaguar. Is that a XJ6? I don't know what that is. XJ Sport. It's quite a nice colour actually. Underneath all the dust. This is open. Yes it is. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to see the mileage on this. No, it's all digital so I'm pretty sure that key's not going to power up the battery. <laughs> Have a little sit inside it. 
God, it smells gorgeous in here. It's really, really clean. It's like the glove box has been broken. Maybe someone lost a key for it, probably. A friend of mine's got a, um, a Daimler V12. We could be doing a video on that soon. Um, extremely rare car, that is. But, I mean, nevertheless, this is super cool. Really, really cool. Ugh. Now, I did actually catch a glimpse of something up here, which looked quite interesting. Will, have you got any idea what this is? Oh my God, it is actually a full size sword. I don't even know if I'm tall enough to get it out. God, <laughs> look at that. Oh my God, that's incredible. That looks special, that does. It does, doesn't it, yeah. It's got some weight to it. I'll have to take some pictures of that. Yeah. Blimey. I think there's another one there too, there's something. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you might be able to put that in a bit easier yeah. than me. <laughs> sure. I think it's probably a replica, but it looks really cool. <laughs> These are all cool. National lot of side, bridge stone signs. So the owner just collected Random stuff, really, didn't he? Yeah. There's all sorts in here. Yeah. Yeah, they're moving to a different part of the country. So oh, okay, so that's why it all has to go. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Yeah. God. This stuff is really cool. Yeah, I saw that and wondered. Oh, my God. It's a machete. Yeah, it's a machete. <laughs> oh, dearie me. God. Okay, well, um... Slip that one back in there. There you go. Wow. There is actually an old mini over here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what, in bits? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God, look at that. Fuel tank, engine, windscreen, wheels. There's all sorts in there. Look, starter motor, alternator, fuel tanks. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of everything. We've got some Porsche alloys there. I wonder what car they're off. I don't actually recognise those. Oh, I've just realised which um, which Mini it is. It's a Meccano one. Build <laughs> <laughs> it yourself. Yeah. You can see the back seats there. I don't know if any of you guys... I don't know if you'd be able to tell, actually, what, um, what Mini that would have been. You can see the pattern on the rear seats there and at the back. Um, if any of you guys know, pop it in the comments below. Again, with these wheels, if any of you guys know what Porsche these wheels came off, whether it be a Boxster or a, a Carrera or something, just pop it in the comments below. Now, that's pretty cool. That's a radio control plane, isn't it? Yeah. Spitfire. Yeah. Minus the engine. I think it's purely just a, a bit of wall art now, but that is really cool. I like that. God, even here, look, there's boxes full of brass. So they're coming this afternoon? Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, um, I've given them your number, so... Cool. I'll, uh, I'll give you a ring and pop down. Nice. There is another barn, actually, if you want to... Is there really? Yeah, yeah, there's another one. Oh, cool. of course there is, yeah. Wow, OK, guys, let's go and check that out and see what's in there. So, yeah, this hole is quite a tight car. Oh, ah, OK. It's quite a big one, this. It's a lot bigger than the other one. Hmm. Oh, it's a motorbike. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know what? I didn't expect to see that. I really didn't. Oh, my God, it looks so clean. Oh, my God, this is really clean. This is... The, the owner bought this in at, you know, scrap value. It was going for the scrap, so... You're kidding, seriously. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth anything as it is, but... Wow, this is definitely the cleanest one I've ever seen. You're kidding me. 25,000 miles. 25,000 miles. This is, this is like brand new. This is absolutely incredible. 
Oh my god. I mean, it's barely been used. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's a Ford Escort. I didn't even see that. I'll tell you what, I'll go and open the other door. Yeah, okay, cool. Wow. God, there's another car over there too. I don't know what that is. Wow, that Escort, that's been here for years. But oh my God, guys, I cannot believe that DAF 44. That is a, that's a gem. It's an absolute gem. Oh, God. Okay, I think I know what car that is now, but I'm not gonna say just yet. I wonder if we can have a little peek inside this Escort. Um, Right, I need to try and negotiate a way down uh, without breaking a leg uh, or an arm or anything in here. <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Right. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to open the door in the escort because there's something blocking it that side and that table is actually blocking the driver's door too. So, the only way I'm gonna really look inside is if I clean the window off a little bit. Oh my God, that is, I'm just gonna turn the light off on here. You might be able to see a little bit better. That is so clean. That is ridiculously clean. This is probably, apart from the dust, one of the cleanest escorts that I've seen in a long time. It's quite a nice colour too, actually. Right, is it gonna be easy for me to climb over these tables again? I think it probably is, isn't it? I'm not climbing over the bonnet. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't gonna say that. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that is what I thought it was. That is a Ford KA convertible. Hideous little car, but... Yeah, that's not the, the barn, you know, barn climb that we've had. <laughs> I should have shown you this one first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, these are quite cool. That is very unusual, actually. <laughs> I've just noticed the piston is actually hanging out of the engine there. Look. So, yeah, the head's missing. I don't think that one's going to run. Wow. Oh, what a funny little car. Now, I'm going to have a quick look at this. This is another car that disappeared off the face of the earth. You don't see these anymore. Not the most nicest looking cars, but I think they definitely look better than the, the hardtop versions. I've got to shoot off now, actually. Oh, okay, mate. Um, I'll leave the keys there for you. Yeah, okay. Right. The, um, the scrap bloods, they'll probably give you a ring and they'll be down. Okay, brilliant. But nice one. Just in the house over there if you need anything. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Um... Yeah, green with cream interior. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are funny little cars, these. Oh, they look interesting. I don't know what they would have been used for. They look very interesting. Well, guys, <laughs> absolutely amazing. That, that DAF, very special little car, that. Now, um, Will did say that the guys are coming this afternoon to clear all the brass out. So um, I think what I'll do, I'll run around and do my pictures quickly, do some pan shots and everything. And then when those guys get here, we'll, we'll film them clearing out the brass. And um, I'll see you then. Hello. Hey, hey. Yeah, 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 I'm here. Five minutes. No worries. Cool. I'll see you soon. Okay, cheers. Yeah, bye, bye. Okay guys, so that was the scrap men. They're on their way. I've got to go and meet them over here. So they're coming down to basically clear all of this brass out. All the brass is going. So I'm going to go and meet them out here. Oh, they should be coming from that direction somewhere. Yep, I can see them just on the brow of the hill now. Right, here they come. It's a very nice Hilux. <laughs> cool, not windy out here today. Hey. There's 
the second one. So yeah, like we said before guys, all of the, the brass in here is going today. It's all been sold. So um, all of this, all of that, and all of that at the back is all going. So these guys are gonna be loading it up into their trucks now. I'm gonna give them a hand. And um, well, yeah, we'll, we'll see how much it's worth. Cause um, I think it's gonna be quite a bit. Ah, the Scrap Kings have arrived. How you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, good, thank you, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice I'll to meet you. you. So you guys have come to clear all the brass out? Yeah, we're actually really looking forward to actually getting a barn clear. It's usually it's just factories and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to definitely find some interesting stuff in here, I can imagine. Well, there is a lot of interesting things in here, yeah. Is there? Yeah, do you want to oh, go and take a look? Oh, wait, yeah. Let's have a look there, see what the value of all this gear is. Wow. wow. It's pretty cool, isn't it? like a treasure trove it is it really is That's yeah look at the bikes travel bikes i know so this this sort of amount of gear must have took absolute years to yeah like. totally this must have belonged to a real hoarder I yeah this, i think so the yeah i mean this place must be just a slightly more hoarder than you are <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I know yeah. standard tech yeah standard tech yeah, yeah. Well, yep, we've got to give a price no we've got to give a price for all of it i think Look at that three-wheeler. I know, I know, they're rare now. <laughs> yeah, but it's all you want You never see any rust on one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I see one I think probably the Morris is the most valuable car in here. Which one's that? The little green one, just because of its condition. Obviously a lot, obviously, obviously yeah. before, my, before my time, we used to watch it. Oh, that's cool. But it is a really nice little car, that. Oh, it's a little bit cosy, well, isn't it? Old cars. That is half the size of stuff today. I know, I so know. People back in like the 80s must have been absolutely, or like in the 20s or whatever it was, must have been absolutely tiny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rich, look, he's Oh, he spotted that, look. <laughs> <laughs> we found that earlier. What's that? Take that to the yard. That's a bit scary. We should weld that. Weld that into some steel. This is the, you want the strap king? The refund stick? <laughs> There's a few bits like that around here. It's it's shame though, because you know, talking a little bit harshly, it is just scrap to us, unless you can yeah, if you wanted to yeah. personally. A lot of brass, you're going to absolutely love that. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the brass, we actually save and collect the brass for our yard. We've got shelves full of it. So oh, that's it, perfect. What yeah. What you see from here, that'd be an, an amazing addition. That one. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, we'll, like, we'll weigh it all in, get it weighed up, let another value. Yeah, yeah. In terms, of, in terms of the cars and that, oh, I know, it's a hard one, isn't it? I know. I'm not into it like that, but yeah. fetch the cars and have a look and see what happens with the cars. Yeah. yeah. Is it just the one bar or is there more? There is another one next door as well. Yeah, there's a couple more cars in there. Oh, there's old Mercedes, I'd always Porsche, I'd always. I know, I saw that. I don't know what the Porsche ones are from. The Boxer. It is a Boxster. Ah, okay. I was going to say, guess the Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> oh, no, it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely amazing, that. Yeah, I want to just hang that in the shed. Look, oh, just bins full of brass. I know, it's just everywhere, isn't it's it? Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Well, brass is at its all-time highest at the moment. What is it, Harry? So, uh, I'm put, I think we're going to put it down to the invasion of Ukraine, but I think right now, today, people are investing back into the commodities, and the brass yeah, is yeah. just here. £4.50. God. That's what we can pay for it, and that's the highest I've ever paid for wow. brass. In my scrap career. That's <laughs> pretty cool, isn't it? So, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. depending on how old some of these items are, you yeah. can actually get more money back in scrap value than what you than did possibly originally. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Oh my god, look at that, I didn't even see that. Last orders. <laughs> Got out of bed. <laughs> Horses and horse and carts, there's, there's loads of them. This God. will be a great addition to our shelf. I can't believe this is actually in a barn somewhere. I know, I know. Who the hell has said we'll be on that stack? That's really you, that is Rich, that Guinness thing. It is, yeah. That wouldn't be awesome, would it? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. There's just so, so much, much stuff. Oh, is that Tonka one? It's a proper Tonka Tonka yeah, toy. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't even spot that. It's a proper Tonka. Oh my God, wow. Like this stuff is so cool. 
Yeah, that's very good. Look, you've even got, I've never seen one of those before. An Indian, a brass Indian on a horse. Oh yeah. That's special, look, there's soldiers hats up there. Yeah, I spotted that earlier. Wow. I did actually notice these as well. I don't know if they're Warner Brother plaques. <laughs> Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I thought it was. Can I touch it? Yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's that's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Is it brass? What is it? Uh, it, it I think yeah, it's amazing. coated, isn't it? We I should think. know. It's going to be places, wouldn't it? It is, yeah. Look at that, water brush. I know, story, I know yeah. obviously, luckily, we've been called, cool. we'll save this. Yeah, so, yeah. Really, it's very lucky because anyone else would just literally just scrap chuck it in a bin. Especially with the prices yeah. being so high, it's yeah. just it's a shame. It would be a shame to get rid of any of these items. They're yeah. fantastic. Oh, there's loads, the isn't there? There's loads. There's just so That's much stuff in there. On, no way to. How long do you reckon it's going to take to clear it all out? Uh, a bit of day or two work yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to wreck everything. No, no. Launch no. it to skip. Just take, heart, take, take a bit of care over right? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be a shame to actually... So the chap that owns it all, what's he saying? He just wants it clear? Yeah, he's, right? he's, yeah, the space is going, so everything it needs to go, basically. Oh, that's a bit old uh, pump. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, a water pump. Isn't that kind of... Oh, wow. It's just, I bet you'd rub that gem at night, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's just treasure. I just can't believe it. It's just been stored in a bar. Oh, those bullets there as well. I didn't even notice those. See, bullets. Come bullets on. are all made of brass. We can't put those in the normal brass. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, you get re you, your Lola get rejected if we put these in them. We'll oh, wow, take really? Them, they actually have to be kept separate. as oh, brass and sound. And they've been spent as well, so... One of them hasn't. That's oh, no. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look. I've never seen such an amazing top hate in my life. There's all sorts in there, isn't there? Literally all sorts. <laughs> wow. That's perfect fit, isn't it? Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> please, please, please. Mess his hair up. <laughs> I don't even know about spiders. That's what it is. Ah, okay, that's it. All right. Have you seen this? It's a pamper bear. That looks old, doesn't it? That's an old toy. That's that looks like something that would come alive at night. That would be fucking hot. That's a mini door skin now. I never clocked that earlier. Oh, a mini door skin. That, that panel there. It is. Uh, Mark 1 as well, look. Door skin, is it? Wow. That's a door. I saw that. God, there's just so much stuff. It's crazy. What's in the second one? Uh, there's actually a really nice little car in there. Is that? The the Celtic Football Club, eighteen eighty two. Oh my God! It, oh wow! Into Milan, two Celtic. Look at the whole bag of them. Jesus! <laughs> Might even be silver. Wow, it could be actually. Yeah, it could be. We'll test them. We'll test them. But book is full of coins. Oh, wow! I know. So yeah, the second buy, as I was saying, quite a rare little gem in there. Yeah, that DAF forty four. The bike's nice, bike, isn't it? bike is quite cool. All I know is everything plus 2005 because I've got... <laughs> so what's the plan here? What do you want to Well, I mean, I don't know. Whatever you guys have come well, to clear, we need to... Materials. Yeah. Um, yeah oh, that? what kind of that? That's an escort, full escort. escort. That, that'll be a collector. Anything forward like that? Yeah. The lovely I couldn't actually see the mileage in that, but I mean, looking at the bodywork, it looks really good. Right, well, guys, we've got our work cut out. Well, you have. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. But this is a lot more uh, interesting work than what we usually use. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I imagine just what we can see on the surface, we're going to get loads more stuff that you it's yeah. buried and hidden. Absolutely. So this is good. This is good. This right. Is there you go. Let's get cracking. Okay, so we're starting to load up all the brass now. I'm going to give the guys a hand. The trucks are all in position. What I'm going to do is put the camera on. <laughs> I'm going to do a time lapse. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys shortly.
Okay, so the trucks are loaded. We've got a small, <laughs> a small batch of stuff for the first sort of yeah. removal job. But we want to come back with the skips and the lads. I mean, it should, shouldn't take us too long to no. clear the whole no. thing. Yeah, the whole out. thing is, yeah. But I'm really, really excited. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it really is cool. See what we get out of it, see what comes. Yeah. You can see what the value is as well. Yeah, absolutely. Just, some of the items, it's too good to scrap, but... I'm very intrigued to know how much it's going to come to, you know, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Colin, you are more than welcome to come back to the yard with us and see how the process will work and weigh all your gear up. Actually, I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. is that okay? Yeah? yeah, and you can probably see the wall where some of these brass ornaments are end up, will end up. Absolutely, yeah, let's go. Absolutely. Well, follow us. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so shut this all up. I'm going to follow the guys up to their yard. Oh, well, right. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for that. Amazing. You sure, yeah? yeah cool. Perfect. You on okay there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to follow the guys up in uh, their truck and nice. uh, find out the value of that brass. Because, oh, uh, yeah, well, I think it's going to be good. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate no it. Okay, guys, we're going to jump in my car now, follow these guys up. So I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so I'm now at the scrapyard, still waiting for how to get here. Um, this place is massive, I kid you not, it is absolutely humongous. It's quite impressive really. So um, I think I've actually beaten him here. So I'm just going to wait around here somewhere, hopefully he'll be there in a minute. And uh, I'll be able to get this stuff unloaded. Aha, he's here now. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> okay, right, so I'm going to follow him in quickly. Let's uh, find out how much this stuff's worth. Okay, so now is the moment to unload all the brass and find out how much it's worth. <laughs> As I'm walking in there, I've just noticed this massive wall. This is the wall that he was talking about earlier. It's absolutely massive. God. I'll tell you what, that is so Im that is an impressive so collection. That, that is one of the reasons why we were so <laughs> excited to get all of the nice ornaments of the barns to us basically. Yeah. Anything that we deem will not be scrappable is gonna end up on these shelves. That's cool. so. It's pretty good that it's going to you guys because anyone else would have just chucked it in the bin. It's, you not, know, it's, but not, it's not fair, it's not fair. They're, they're, they're too nice to scrap. Yeah, yeah. Even though brass is like the highest it's ever been today, we will keep all of Yeah, yeah. So come in from there, this is what we deem every bit of brass ornament or scrap ornament that we find that we think can't be actually destroyed ends up on the wall. The scrap that is the so impressive. So all of the sort of things yeah, that we've awesome got. God. But as you can tell, they're quite rare. Ornaments. Yeah. There's only five up there. There must have been five in that barn. So, so we've yeah. just doubled our collection today. God. You got any idea how many items you've got there? Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. We did actually weigh it uh, a few weeks ago for, for YouTube. Yeah. And our subscribers actually said they wanted to find out what value it was. We did it. Um, although there's a lot of material in it, all of them kind of. They found the bell. <laughs> <laughs> No, we, we actually took it all down, weighed it, and found out it was worth about seven and a half grand. Wow, that's impressive. Today will be even more Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you were to sell this as what it is, an ornament, you'd probably get more money than that, wouldn't you? You know? I mean, well, I, I, mean, I wouldn't want any of this in my house. There's no money. But I suppose it's quite old fashioned, old fashioned. isn't it, really? It is, yeah. It's a, it's a real, real shame because uh, we've been down to that. We'll say she's polishing that. Yeah, it's yeah, nice, yeah. I mean, uh, I wouldn't want it in my place. No, I'll take totally that. So I don't want it in mine. Wow. So we've got one more, one more product to put up now. Yeah, so this is where all the stuff's going that the guys cleared out today. Yeah, we've got one more. The pine will pop after. Yeah, yeah. Paint that up. Oh. Oh, this is nice to see it being used and such. Yeah, absolutely. Even yeah, if it's just for people's look. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got some of it loaded on the scales. This has gone up to 154 kg, which is very impressive. Now, the guys are going to load the rest of the stuff up. We're going to find out the total value of what all this is worth. It's really exciting, actually. I can't wait to find out. 
Okay, so let's see how they're getting on. You guys oh, found it yet? Yeah. All sorts of money. So, this is your breakdown basically. So this is going to be your receipt for the amount that we bought in today. Do you want to know the total weight and total value is? I'll tell you what, don't tell me. Guys, if you want to know what the total value was, go and check out Strapping's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. I've always got all the pictures of Facebook, 10 minutes on Instagram. I'll link these guys in the description below, and we'll see you on the next video soon.